if sin a is 3 by 5, find cos a and 10 a. So it's given to us sin a is 3 by 5. And we know sin a is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So when we compare both these, we can say perpendicular over hypotenuse is 3 by 5. Which means now that perpendicular is 3x and hypotenuse is 5x. But to make things a little simple, because we're just beginning this chapter, we will just take perpendicular as 3 and hypotenuse is as x. So in this triangle, we're talking about sine A. So here is our sine A. And for our sine A, our perpendicular is BC. And the base is AB. And the hypotenuse we know is AC. So it is given to us that perpendicular is 3. So for angle, for angle A, perpendicular we saw is BC, which we now say is 3. So I'll put 3 here. The base, we still don't know. It's a question. But however, the hypotenuse is given as 5, here hypotenuse 5, which is AC, is 5. So first we'll find the base, and you know the base is AB. Let's first find AB. So we'll use Pythagoras theorem. For Pythagoras, we will do AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. So if you see the AC is 5, so we have 5 square equal to AB, we do not know, and BC 3 square. So 25 equal to AB square plus 9. 25 minus 9 equal to AB square, 16 equal to AB square, so AB equal to 4. So now we know AB is 4. We have to find the value of cos A. Now for cos A, cos is base over hypotenuse. For A, we've seen that the base is, this is the base for A. And that is AB which is equal to 4 and the hypotenuse for AB is AC here this is the hypotenuse so over AC and we saw AC is 5 so cos A will be equal to 4 over 5 next we need to find 10A 10A, the definition for 10 is perpendicular over base. Now for A, we have seen that the perpendicular is BC. Here is the perpendicular. Because this is A, so this is the perpendicular. So perpendicular is BC. And the base we saw is here. Because we are talking about this angle. So this is the base. And the base is AB. So 10A is 3 over 4, perpendicular over base. If cos B is 1 by 3, find the other 5 trigonometric ratios. So we start again. So we know cos B is 1 by 3. And uh, cos B is base over hypotenuse. So which means now base over hypotenuse 
equal to 1 by 3. So on comparing this, I can say the base equal to 1 and the hypotenuse equal to 3. So for the triangle B, let me make, uh, mark my base, hypotenuse and perpendicular. So my, uh, my perpendicular will be AC, opposite, this will be perpendicular. Here will be the base and the hypotenuse will be AB. So let me write that out. So here for angle, because I'm interested in angle B, I will write down who is the perpendicular, which is the base, which is the hypotenuse. And from the figure we see that the perpendicular of B is AC, the base is BC, and the hypotenuse is AB. Now we see here that the base is 1, so the base of BC must be 1. And hypotenuse is 3. So hypotenuse is 3. Let me mark that. So here is 1. And this is 3. I need to find, this is my x. I need to find my perpendicular. And I will use by Pythagoras theorem. So by using Pythagoras theorem, we have AB square equal to AC square plus BC square. Now AB is 3 square, 3 square equal to AC is 1 square and uh, AC, I, here my uh, base is 1, the base is BC, so BC is 1. So AC, I'm going to erase this because this is, I don't know AC square, I put it as X square. BC is 1 square, so 9 equal to x square plus 1. 9 minus 1 equal to x square. So I have 8 equal to x square. So x will be under root 8 which is 2 root 2. So now this is 2 root 2. I have to find all my ratios. So to find my all my ratios, first I start with sine theta or sine b. Sine b is perpendicular over hypotenuse and I have already found my perpendicular AC as 2 root 2. So I'm going to write this as 2 root 2. So perpendicular over hypotenuse. So for B we saw our perpendicular was here. It is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So that would be now 2 root 2 over 3. Now that we are fine sign, we can immediately find cosec. Cosec will be hypotenuse over perpendicular, that is 3 over 2 root 2. Next we are going to find cos of B. Now cos of B, cos is base over hypotenuse. Now where is the base? Here is the base and this is the hypotenuse. So it will be 1 by 3 and the reciprocal of cos is sec so sec of b will be hypotenuse over base that is 3 over 1 next we need to find tan of b tan of b is perpendicular over base so here is the perpendicular here and this is the base so that will be 2 root 2 over base 1 and the reciprocal of 10 is cot. So cot B will be base over perpendicular that is 1 over 2 root 2. If cos of theta is 8 over 17, find the other trigonometric ratios. So let's start cos theta 8 over 17. Cos theta is base over hypotenuse. So when I compare I get base over hypotenuse is 8 over 17 which means base equal to 8 and hypotenuse equal to 17. 
So I will draw a triangle based on that. So here is my triangle. I will take this angle say, say A, B, C and I will t take C as my angle. Now the base has to be 8. Now for B, what is the base? Which is the base? The base is BC. And here see the base has to be taken as 8. So this becomes 8. It is a base. And the perpendicular of C is AB. It is the perpendicular. And we do not know the perpendicular. It is not given to us. So I will take it as X. However, the hypotenuse you know is AC. And here for us, it is given, the hypotenuse is given as 17. So the hypotenuse is 17. So let's write that out. For angle, for angle C, our perpendicular is AB, which we have taken as X and we don't know. The base is BC and that is given as 8. The hypotenuse is AC and that is 17. So my first step is to find out what is not known and that is a perpendicular and AB. So I use Pythagoras theorem and for Pythagoras theorem I do now hypotenuse square that is AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Now I put the values you have 17 square equal to AB is X square BC is 8 square. So 17 square is 289 equal to x square plus 64. So I just go on this side now 289 minus 64 equal to x square. That is 225 equal to x square. Under root of 225 is x square. So I have 15 equal to x. So my AB is now 15. So I know this is 15. So let me write my perpendicular as 15. Now I can find all the ratios that they have asked me. Let me start with sine theta. My theta is C. So sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So here is the perpendicular and here is the hypotenuse. And that would be now perpendicular we said is 15 over 17. The minute I find sine, I can find immediately cosec because it's just a reciprocal. So cosec C will be hypotenuse over perpendicular that is 17 over 15. Next I need to find cos C. Cos is base over hypotenuse. So the base is 8 and the hypotenuse is 17. So that will be 8 over 17. Now the reciprocal of cos is sec. So sec C will be hypotenuse over base that is 17 over 8. Next I need to find 10 C. 10 C is perpendicular over base. So here is the perpendicular and this is the base. So it will be 15 over 8. And the reciprocal of 10C is cot C. So cot C is base over perpendicular, that is 8 over 15. If cosec A is under root 10, find the other ratios. So I start with cosec. And the definition of or the Definition of cosec is hypotenuse of a perpendicular. Which means hypotenuse over perpendicular is under root 10 over 1. So I have my hypotenuse under root 10 and perpendicular equal to 1. Let me draw this triangle. So here's a triangle. I'll write it as A as the angle that I need. And this is B and C. So this is the angle I'm interested in. Now who will be the 
perpendicular of A. Now perpendicular of A will be the side that is opposite and which side is opposite A? It is BC. So BC is opposite A so this will be its perpendicular and to find its hypotenuse will be the side opposite 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees and the side opposite it is AC. So here is the hypotenuse H. Now for the base, now the base will be the one uh, side close to the angle. So the side close to the angle is here. So this will be the base. So for angle, I'll write it out here now. For angle A, we must know what is the perpendicular, which is the base and which is the hypotenuse and we can go, go ahead and do our sum. So we saw the perpendicular is BC, the base is AB and the hypotenuse is AC. Now if you look up here it is given to us that the hypotenuse is under root 10. So let me write that here is under root 10. So this is under root 10 the hypotenuse perpendicular is 1 so BC is 1 so let me put it here perpendicular 1 hypotenuse under root 10 so here now I need to find my base that is X so I use Pythagoras and for Pythagoras I have AC square equal to AB square BC square so AC is under root 10 the whole square equal to AB is X square I don't know I need to find out and BC is 1 square so 10 equal to X square plus 1 10 minus 1 equal to X square so 9 equal to X square so X equal to under root 9 so X equal to 3 so my X here I'm going to raise this out and I'm going to put it as 3. Now I know all my three parts the perpendicular, hypotenuse and the base. So I can find out all my ratios. Let us start with sine of A. Sine A is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So here is the perpendicular this is the hypotenuse so it will be 1 over under root 10. And once I know sine, I also know cosec because cosec A will be hypotenuse over perpendicular. So under root 10 over 1. Now let's go and find out cos A. Cos A base over hypotenuse. So who is base here? The base is 3 and hypotenuse under root 10. So it will be 3 over under root 10. If I know cos, I know sec because it is a reciprocal hypotenuse over base that under root 10 over 3. Then last of all I find 10A. 10A perpendicular over base. So here is my perpendicular, here is the base. So that will be 1 by 3. And if I know 10, I will know cot. Cot will be 3 by 1. If sine theta is root 3 by 2, find the other ratios. So sine theta is root 3 by 2. And you know sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So perpendicular over hypotenuse root 3 by 2, which means perpendicular is root 3 and hypotenuse is 2. Now I'll just do the sum without drawing the diagram at all and see how we will go ahead to do it without drawing the diagram. Now we know perpendicular, we know hypotenuse, we need to find the uh, base. So I'll just draw a rough figure just to know, you know that this is perpendicular, this is 90, this will be hypotenuse, this will be base. So we will find out the base, we'll put base as x. Now by Pythagoras theorem, what do we know is perpendicular square plus base square will be hypotenuse square, isn't it? See, we have 
this square plus this square equal to hypotenuse square. So if you look up at the perpendicular is root 3 the whole square, base we don't know x square equal to hypotenuse is 2 square. So we go further up, 3 square is 3 plus x square equal to 4. So x square equal 4 minus 3, so x square equal to 1. Now remember the x was base, so my base is equal to 1. So here I'm going to rub out the x, raise the x and put 1. So I know my perpendicular, I know my hypotenuse, I know the base. I can find all my ratios. I, I start with sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So here is perpendicular and here is hypotenuse, which is already given to me actually. I don't need to find out root 3 by 2. If I know sine theta, I know cosec theta. Cosec theta, 2 by root 3. Next uh, we will find is cos theta. Cos theta base over hypotenuse. The base here is 1, hypotenuse 2. So base will be 1 by 2. And uh, the reciprocal of cos we know is sec theta. So sec theta is hypotenuse over base. So 2 over 1. Last we find 10 theta. Perpendicular over base. Here perpendicular root 3 and uh, base is 1. So this is root 3 over 1 is 10. And the reciprocal of 10 is cot which is base over perpendicular 1 over root 3.